Hi folks, it's Max from GalaxyNote2.com So I've got a quick ROM review of the Jedi X ROM uh, It's available for your Verizon Galaxy Note 2, T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2, AT&T Galaxy Note 2 And also you can install the AT&T or T-Mobile version on the GTN 7105 International version um, So available for everybody except for the, G the regular GTN 7100 and also the Sprint Galaxy Note 2 uh, but I think this is the best ROM for the Galaxy Note 2. It adds on to the stock ROM as more new features. And certainly if you're running stock ROM on your Galaxy Note 2, uh, you haven't rooted your phone uh, running stock ROM, definitely you should upgrade to this one. Let me kind of point out some of the major features about this ROM with the latest version also. Um, so first of all, you have a multi-window enable for all apps with transparent bar. Uh, which kind of makes it nice so you can see through while you're multitasking. Um, so let's say you're on a third-party app that's not normally supported by stock uh, multi, you know, unlimited window, multi-window. Um, you can actually multitask now with a stock browser. Have two browser open. Uh, if you want, you can even have three browsers open with a, a pop-up browser. I wouldn't do that, but the pop-up browser, um, also resizable. That is really nice, and uh, the next feature that's nice about this ROM is that uh, for those of you who use headphones, it comes with awesome beats. Um, you can mess with the equalizer there, and also Voodoo sound. Uh, this is some of the uh, most desired feature on a custom ROM. A lot of people, uh, you know, install a custom ROM just because of this app, Voodoo sound, and also Walkman ha app, uh, Walkman music app has been replaced. Um, in replacement for the regular Samsung player, uh, which I like also. And also this ROM runs on Sony Bravia Engine 2, which makes your videos, uh, photos better. And uh, also does have overclocking. Um, so you can overclock it to up to 1.92. I don't actually recommend it because it's gonna drain your battery really quick. Uh, but I just set it there for, just for fun. But I recommend about 1.704 for uh, daily driving. Uh, if you're plugged in, then you can go all the way to 1.92. And additional options you can do with that too, um, but I won't go into that. It also comes with Lightflow Light app, um, so you can customize your LED notifications, um, you know, Gmail to red, uh, Facebook to blue, all that good stuff. And uh, also does have uh, native, yes that's right, native tethering, Wi-Fi tethering. Turn it on. Um, all right and configure it uh, and let me go ahead and connect it from my other note to here just to prove you to that it works just fine uh, it works fine on all of the Galaxy Note 2's uh, with the Jedi X and let me co connect to Note 2 VVV and instantly you get one device connected uh, let me just prove to you with the speed test real quick my Verizon 4G LTE speeds here in my basement office uh, certainly pretty darn good there you go. Um, so Wi-Fi tethering works just fine. And uh, let me actually show you the next part that's kind of cool. Uh, if you go to settings, you'll see Jedi ROM tricks here. You can change the toggles up here up to 23, put it in different uh, different order. And you'll see all the toggles you can add 23. And also you can put LED flashlight at the top if you want. There you go. Uh, for easy access. And also keyboard switcher. Also, uh, it comes with app uh, uh, exposed app settings, um, which I had a video of two weeks ago. You can watch that to do it. But I'll show you real quick. Um, so framework, you you should install it, reboot once, and then go to modules. Make sure you check that. Reboot one more time, and then you'll be able to mess with per DPI settings. Uh, let me just show you an example with Gmail, uh, real quick. Let me turn it off here. Uh, if I turn it off, it's going to give me the default phone mode there. And also, um, if you want to turn it on, mess with these values here, DPI, that's uh, dots per inch, let's say 180 there, and change the screen to 600 by 1024. Uh, all right, let me try that. That should put it into tablet mode, uh, and there you go. And you can mess with those values to get the perfect, you know, a phone tablet hybrid mode uh, for all of your apps you know so that's very nice and let's go back to settings here and uh, I did show you the the Pi launcher it does come with LMT launcher en enabled 
in the settings you just have to set it up I also have a video on that so you can watch um, that to set it up and that way you can quick toggle your Wi-Fi um, quick toggle your GPS all that good stuff anyway very nice ROM uh, if there was one ROM I would install and forget about it for the next couple months that's stable fast uh, great battery life if you don't overclock it check out this ROM for uh, Verizon AT&T T-Mobile GTN 7105 Galaxy Note 2 and don't forget to donate to the developer uh, XTA user PTMR3 and also you can follow them on Twitter at twitter.com slash PTMR3 anyway if you guys like this video um, oh I forgot one more thing if you're using the T-Mobile version since this ROM is based off uh, GTN 7105 base um, you won't get Wi-Fi calling for the T-Mobile version but T for the T-Mobile version PTMR3 has another ROM called Jedi Master which is essentially the same thing but built off the T-Mobile base so you get to Wi-Fi calling with everything else uh, pretty much the same um, so check it out for this week's ROM of the Week for the Galaxy Note 2 and uh, if you have a Galaxy Note 2 as always don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxynote2.com we update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks and more and also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And also, you can also subscribe to my other YouTube channel, youtube.com slash galaxynote2root. Um, that's where I usually upload all the Note 2 ROM videos. Uh, but I thought this one's extra special, and I think this is one of the best ROMs, so that's why I post it here. Anyway, thanks, you guys. Stay high on Android, and go enjoy your Jedi X ROMs, Jedi Master, all that good stuff. See you all later.